After game two last night in the Western Conference Finals against the Denver Nuggets, we go to the second quarter. James is on the drive. Rui Hachimura with the three from the wing. Lakers are up five. Mid-second quarter, Nuggets are down eight. Anthony Davis with the big block. Lakers get it, and we're going the other way. Ahead to LeBron, and you know what's coming. Oops. It didn't happen. Nope. Right out of his hand. Here's another look at it. Oh. Whoa, just flat out lost it. You always love the guy sitting on the bench going, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, it was your bad. Second, Lakers up 11. Jokic with the rebound down the court to Jamal Murray. That's how it's done. Still in the second, just under a minute and a half. Nuggets are down three. Hachimura back door. LeBron with the lob. Hachimura had 17 in the first half. L.A. up five at halftime. Jamal Murray with the three. And the Nuggets are up one. How about Jamal Murray again with another three? It's done right over Anthony. Why step back and Anthony Davis got to stand there and whoop, there you go. And where's LeBron? Try LeBron on him one time. Do we have LeBron guarding Anthony? And Jamal. There he is. There's LeBron. Watch this. Ah, I got you. No problem. <laughs> Cuts the lead down to five with under two to play by the Lakers. The Lakers the move. Austin Rivas with the pull-up three. And watch LeBron come down on a foot. Ah, it turns his ankle. He's laying on the court for a while. He stayed in the game, but the Nuggets didn't give up that lead. Lakers didn't have enough to come back. Jamal Murray, 37. A lot of praise from his teammates last night after the Lakers fall. Oh, he was a special. He was special, and then he won us the game. He scored 20 something in the fourth quarter. Uh, he got us the lead. His energy. He played 40 something in 42 minutes. So, you know, he, I think he he was he was amazing. Yes, maybe in the first half he did, he struggled to make shots, but when it when mattered the most, he he made shots and he he won us the game basically. I mean, uh, you know, for those who have seen me play before, I normally like to. You know, off a shooting half like that, I normally like to reset, you know, just kind of come back down, you know, um, reset my mind, quick little meditation in my head and um, just come back out focused. You know, I missed my first couple coming out. I were just really good looks and, you know, the game would have been a lot easier if I made them in the first half, you know, so um, just come out focused and knock them down. Don't lose any confidence or anything like that. Just play my game and know that they're going to fall if I keep shooting them. Can he take that game on the road? Because they play game three tomorrow night in L.A. at 7.30. Over in the Eastern Conference, Miami Heat, Boston Celtics at the court tonight for game two, 7.30 in Boston. The Heat won game one in Boston. So they're up one nothing. We're not used to seeing LeBron play like that. Oh, well. <laughs> you know I'm not the big He's not LeBron hurt James. by Oh, well, no. yeah. You're okay. Anyway, hey, question. Did you guys figure out who our big star is? No. It is Jesse Borrego himself, San Antonio's own, and boy, we got a lot of treats for you. Do you like nice, cool, ice creamy treats? Summer's coming, yes. Yeah. Deal of the day, we're gonna tell you all about yeah. that. And Jesse's here for the Cactus Blossom Gala, and Chef Milas is cooking up something really special. This is a bison steak, which is on the menu, and this is an organization very near and dear to your heart, right, sir? Yes, American Indians of Texas, Spanish Colonial Missions. All right, and we've got more food over here. Take a look at these burgers, and this is all for a very good cause for the Foster Village. A little bit of this burger, the money from it goes to help them. You like pizza parties? I do. Jen's at a pizza party. We weren't invited. What? Jen, what's up? <laughs> Yes, look at this. We're here at Perry's Pizzeria and Tap House. And yes, they have quite the pizza party ready for National Pizza Party Day. Lots of deals for our SA Live viewers. We'll tell you all about it. Look at that. That looks good. Hot or cold pizza? Ooh, hot. Hot. Deep okay. dish. What about the next day? That Sunday morning, yeah? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. have it cold. <laughs> That's our social question. How do you like it? Also, you're not going to be bored this weekend. We've got a list of all different things that you can do. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. Right now on KSAT.com, San Antonio Water System offering coupons for plants as part of its Water Saver program. SAW's residential customers can apply for up to four landscape coupons per year with a lifetime limit of eight coupons per service account. Coupons are valued at $100 each. It can be used to purchase drought tolerant plants. You must purchase 15 plants from the approved Water Saver coupon list. We've got all the information you need. It's on our website. 
All right, well, now let's look at the forecast. We have jumped into the 80s now and the sun is out. Temperatures up near 90 this afternoon. We watch for storms overnight tonight. Again, if you hear some rubbles of thunder, that'll be why. And if there are any strong to severe storms, we'll be there with you tonight on the KSAT weather app. Otherwise, cooler tomorrow, mostly cloudy during the afternoon, pretty quiet, and we'll get another chance for some showers Sunday morning. So a couple windows there for rain. Keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, a cooler weekend, which is nice. We'll take that, guys. You know, not only on SA Live do they have a celebrity, they also have puppy breath. Puppy breath. One of the greatest things you could have. Is puppy breath? Yeah. A little bit of heaven right there. Puppy breath? You don't like puppy breath? Uh, well, never really hung around with too many puppies with breath okay. like that. So I'm not sure. Is that bad breath? We'll, we'll introduce you. <laughs> That's what got some great It's food. like baby smell. It's wonderful. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. And speaking of puppy breath, yes, oh my goodness gracious, you are right, Ursula. It's just one of those, oh, the little, oh, we're going to tell you about those two little ones. They are up for adoption. Big event coming up tomorrow. All right, happy Friday, everybody. I'm Mike Ostrage. Fiona is off today, and we are going to kick off the show with a little bit of star power or a whole lot of star power. He's been in movies like Blood In, Blood Out, shows like 24, Dexter, but this Hollywood actor right here from the Alamo City is home for a really big event. And we are talking about that gentleman right here. Same guy standing right here. That was just video of actor Jesse Abrego and our friend Chef Midas Williams are here for a big event coming up. And we are in the middle of cooking this. What are we cooking here, Chef? Pan seared. Pan Rose seared. Man, rosemary and thyme bison. Bison, bison steak. Bison steak. Wow. Okay. And this is for a big event coming up here. But first of all, bison, what's the secret to cooking it? Well, you know, first you got to catch it. Ah, good point. We gotta stun it. Then, of course, we pray over it in our native way. Okay. Then we hand it yep. over to chef. Yeah. And and you don't want to be like tourists in Yellowstone trying to pet the thing or take a picture. No, 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 so, no, no, anyway, no. So anyway, I think you're gonna eat it. <laughs> we can go ahead and kill. Kill the, kill the, kill the, the okay, kill the fire right now. And just let it sit. Let it well, sit for a minute. Yeah. What are we sure. cooking this in? We're cooking it in extra virgin olive oil, and then we want to add our salt and pepper. Right now? Yes. A little can, bit of just, just the top. Yeah. On the top there, a little bit of pepper, and you had marinated this in. What? And our thyme and our oregano and okay. rosemary. You want to put a little rosemary on there? Yeah, throw a little rosemary in there. We've done this before. And, and throw, yeah. A couple of cloves of garlic. garlic. Oh, yes. Yeah, got to have some garlic. Have All right. And then what is Jesse? Because we're putting him to work today, too. What's he making over there? Jesse, you are in charge of the heirloom. Okay. The heirloom so potatoes. Gonna and you oven roasted them first, roasted right? Them a little first. bit? Put a little bit of Oh, my oil. God. Now, then we're going to. Some onions in there. Mm -hmm. While these two are cooking, we got to let you in on a little bit, a little bit secret. That SA Live is the name of the show, but it can also be called Love Connection because these two met Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes, for yeah. a pecan harvest promotion. Yeah. Two different segments, and then you got Chef Milas into the event coming up. Tomorrow, yes. Right? Well, we, we he was impressed with our presentation, and he's got native heritage too. So we collaborated, and we invited him to this culinary event the Cactus Blossom, to be our chef. So he's going to be cooking up some wonderful stuff. I know we've got antelope oh, and, wow. you know, our staple fare, which is the Cactus Blossom. Mm -hmm. So he's incorporated all of these indigenous ingredients into our offering for tomorrow night's Cactus Blossom. Tell us all about the Cactus, cactus Blossom Gala. Why is it? What's, it? what's it all about? Well, American Indians of Texas, of the Spanish Colonial Missions, is an organization that does a lot of great community services and programs mm -hmm. for our indigenous and urban indigenous communities here in San Antonio. So we exemplify our Native American culture through our board-led fundraising galas. This is one of them. We have our pecan harvest where we met mm -hmm. and then cactus blossom which happens now and it, they're wonderful culinary events. Brooks has partnered with us and we're having it at Kanger 9 tomorrow night. All right. So come on by for a wonderful, wonderful meal. And tickets are still available. We're going to tell you more about that Please. in just a moment. Come now, on. how did you get involved and how long have you been involved with it? Well, I've been involved with the indigenous family here, being native myself, mm -hmm. Apache and, and Coahuiltecan. And these founders of AIT were from the original families who built the missions. So these San Antonio indigenous families incorporate all of us who feel our indigenous roots into this organization and how we give back 
to the tribes of San Antonio. So I got involved with them about nine, ten years ago, and I've been on their board. And this is one of our board-led galas. So we invite all of you to come out, share our native Texas culture with us, and our cuisine, and the wonderful, wonderful food of Chef Milas. How'd you come up with the, uh, the menu? Can I take this out now? Yes, of Okay, okay, I'm gonna put this right here. So how'd you come up with the, uh, the menu, Chef? The, well, the menu is, is, of course, Native American inspired. It is very, 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 I can't say, it's an honor to have created and came up with the dish because, of course, we want to represent the Native American culture, the indigenous family, with very, very high honors. Yes, but you know, you as a top flight chef, your cuisine is perfectly in line with what AIT does, which is to really exemplify the best of our native cultures. You know, we both come from communities that really like to eat food. Mm -hmm. You know, we like to take care of our communities in that sacred way. So I think for him, being able to incorporate bison, antelope, cactus, he, you know, we had him watch one of our uh, founders' videos, Truly Texas Mexican, which was on PBS, and talked about why Tex-Mex is so particular in San Antonio, why the cuisine is so particular, and it's because of the native influence. So, you know, tomorrow at our Cactus Blossom, Hangar 9, we're gonna have fun. There's gonna be great food. Like I said, there'll be antelope, bison, cactus, and all kinds of other wonderful fare. Very quickly, we've got 30 seconds. Where can folks see you on the big screen or the small screen? Well, we just celebrated 30 years of the cult classic, Blood In, Blood Out. There was mm -hmm. a big article in the LA Times. San Antonio has been talking about celebrating the 30th anniversary all this year. And then I'm also working with my brother, James Borrego at San Antonio College to reinvigorate their film program over there and for our San Antonio kids. Hopefully we are going to have you back on down the road to talk more about that. Absolutely. Because, I mean, so many great uh, productions going on. Why not have it right here? Why so, not? Right. Our kids, yes. Once again, the 8th Annual Cactus Blossom Gala is happening tomorrow, the 20th, 5 to 9 at Hangar Number 9 at Brook City Base. If you got tickets, we've set up a link on our website. You can snap that on our QR code or on your screen or just go to SALive.com click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank Delicious. You. Thank you. Wow, that's really good. All right, we love to celebrate, obviously, anything here on SA Live. And how about with a pizza party? It is National Pizza Party Day, and our gent Tobias Trusky is live at one location, throwing an amazing party. And big question, we are talking about this, Jen. Pizza, hot or cold? Mm -hmm. Both. Is that, okay. is that an answer? <laughs> is that an option? Yes, I'll, I'll take both, right? It depends on the pizza, how thick it is, and you know, if I'm too lazy in the morning, then right out of the fridge, take a bite. What about you, Mike? <laughs> you know, I think it really depends on the pizza, too, whether you can eat it cold the next morning. I also like to sometimes just take all the toppings and then throw that into an omelet, too, sometimes. I know I'm, go I'm, go I'm going off on a tangent right now, so, yeah, oh. why not? Okay. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, uh, let like us know about the, the hot or cold. Okay, what's the party going on there? Yes, okay, I love that idea, Mike. I think I'm gonna steal that idea, right? Uh, pizza omelet. Okay, we're here at Harry's Pizzeria and Tap House, and I'm joined by Julio Gonzalez. Julio, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, it's National Pizza Party Day. What a better place, right? What better place to be than here? Yes. You're all about the pizza. Tell me what we have here today. Yeah, so today we're featuring probably my favorite item is going to be the uh, Uncle Sam. So basically, we got our hand-tossed dough. Um, we got our pepperonis. We have our uh, jalapeno, pickled jalapenos. We got cream cheese. We added bacon on here. So this is almost like a jalapeno popper all in ones. It's truly amazing. This is one of David Elder's favorite uh, pizzas as well. So this is by far our best-selling pizza here. So if anyone's come, a kick. I mean, but it has the cream cheese yes, and it, the bacon. Yeah. Oh. And it's not hot. It's not spicy. It's not hot. So it's just it's perfect. So by far our best seller here. So if anyone happens to come in, yep. I would strongly encourage you guys order an Uncle Sam, add bacon. Okay. Um, Don't mind me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a bite. But we have the <laughs> other one over there. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Over yeah. here, we have uh, probably our second best seller is our Zesty Lady. Uh, it's going to be our hand-tossed dough. We have our pepperoni on this one. It's an 18 inch. So I got 40 slices of pepperoni. We got our Zesty Parmesan mix. It goes right on top. It goes right into our into our pizza oven comes out nice and nice and not too crispy just crispy enough so that way you know it goes down very easily so by far our two best sellers here this is this is my what do you favorite. think right yeah. okay 
Thank yep. you, Lou. Yeah, of course. Now the wings, look at this platter. Tell me about what we have here. Yeah, so right here, so um, I love wings, so I'm very partial. So I think what we have the best wings in town, not only in size, if you look at these wings, they're nice and meaty, but we also have great value here. So um, right here, we have a combination of our uh, hot garlic, and we also have a medium sauce. So, um, but we have a bunch of different flavors here. But like I said, uh, yeah, we are a pizzeria, but I, I tell you what, don't under, underestimate our wings here. Our, our wings are, Truly amazing, like really good. I've had them before with Troy Aikman, by the way, because yeah, that's yes. where we were last time. And how many different flavors did you have? Do you have? So we have a, up to, you can get at least up to 10 different flavors, oh, if okay. not more. Like I said, it's just, if you want to combine them, mix them, whatever you want to do. So we get all different requests. We accommodate everybody, everyone's needs. And salads, my favorite. <laughs> I yeah. love salad and I love pizza here, but this is great. I love the size yeah. of the salad. So you have options for yeah, we Yeah, we have options if, you, if you're, you know, you want something a little more healthier or, or you know, uh, Lexington chicken salad's amazing. We, it comes with roasted chicken on there. You can do our boneless wings. Uh, you can get them flavored as well. So it all depends on, on, on what your preference is, but by far, when it comes to our salads, this is our best-selling salad right here with the roasted chicken. Amazing salad. Got the avocado, got the cherry tomatoes, got our heirloom tomatoes, got a fresh uh, salad mix in there. So definitely worth worth getting. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, I'll tear that with this. Is that too much? No, I don't think so. Okay, now let's talk about these three here. Yeah, so over here we have some of our appetizers. So right here we have our cheesy bread. So this right here is probably our best-selling appetizer. So it's uh, our fresh, fresh dough. We got olive oil, we got minced garlic on it, we got our cheddar cheese, we got mozzarella cheese and fresh basil. As, it, as you can see, it's just truly amazing. So if you're bringing in a group of people, this is a great item so you can share with everybody so everyone gets a so it's an amazing product. Right All here right. we have our our, our, parm, our parm bites right here. So it's fresh dough, mm -hmm. uh, we fry it, and then we put our zesty uh, Parmesan mm -hmm. mix on top. And then one thing I failed to mention earlier, we have our homemade marinara sauce. So okay. we take a lot of pride in here that all our food here is truly made from scratch. We get here early in the morning to ensure that the quality of the product is, is the best. Okay, well we could talk forever about the food here, but we're running a little low now on time. But we do want to mention these three right here. If you mention SA Live, this weekend, you can get one of these complimentary with, an, with the purchase, correct? Correct. Okay, so don't forget that. And there's a bigger deal, yeah. but you have to stick around. Second half of the show, we're going to share that so you can find out how to win that. And I'm going to take another bite of my pizza. Of course, of course. Thank you so much. No, th thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at all that food out there, I Jen. My oh, my gosh. And there's a bigger deal coming up as well? Oh, 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 that looks so good. I'm eating bison here and I'm still hungry with that stuff. Thank you, Jen. We're going to check in with you just a little bit later on. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Tejano fans, listen up. There is a big music festival kicking off today. Find out the details and other fun events in our What's Happening. Plus, free frozen custard. Yes, you heard me right. Stick around in our second half hour for this sweet deal. It is our deal of the day. But first, have you ever been served a burger by a Dallas Cowboy? Find out the cause that got Micah Parsons behind the counter and how you can try the burger that gives back. We're going to make that coming up next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, they are burgers fit for a cowboy, a Dallas cowboy. Most specifically, Micah Parsons. He helped kick off a huge give back event and he teamed up with this Texas burger brand to help change some lives. Christian Barclay, who's the district manager for Hat Creek Burger Company, is here to show us their burgers and how they would just bring out the inner football player in Dallas Cowboy. Okay, first of all, sir. This smells delicious. What are we making today? So we're going to be making our give back burger today, which okay. is a burger that we are making in partnership with Foster Village for National uh, Foster Awareness Month. We're featuring this burger through June 26th. Mm -hmm. So what we got going on here is we have this excellent pretzel bun that we got working toast in here. Try to get a good toast on. Eh, it's getting there. This we'll, is we'll working. Let it, let's sit just a little bit longer. There here. we go. Okay. Then we have ah, they're getting there. Some yep. beautiful antibiotic hormone free beef that we cooked up for you guys right here. You want to go ahead and flip that for me, Mr. Mike? There Alrighty. we go. There we go. Yeah. Now cheese. Now we have some uh, creamy yet spicy pepper jack cheese we're gonna throw on there. So for the pepper jack, you wanna melt it a little bit on the grill there. There you go. Just a little bit like that. Yes, sir. Now hit that other side a little bit. Okay. There you go. Now throw that right there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nice little trick. Instead of having to do the whole lid and the, the steam and all that stuff, right? That's exactly right. But make sure you wear double gloves and don't burn your fingers. So. Double gloves. Okay, a little bit like that. And there we go. A little bit like that. You're a burger pro now. And look at that. 
Excellent. Perfect. Oh, heavens. So we got yes. a two okay. patty burger, Mike. So you got to stack those things. Stack these right now. Okay. Rock and roll. Let's check yep. on our buns. Okay, we're getting a nice okay. little toast okay, going. Got, that, one's pretty, that one's pretty good right there. We'll do that one so we can get this burger going here. There so. we go. Okay, and then we'll get a bottom going. And Rock and now roll. Now the meat over there. Meat on the bottom bun right there. Okay. So how did you come up with this concept and how did Mike Parsons get involved and the fall and especially the charity? So first off, we have a, a history founded in community. We have two pillars, Fellowship and Fresh Cheeseburgers, which Hat Creek is founded on. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were quickly able to work with Michael Parsons because he's somebody who's big on community too. Um, so we feel blessed to be able to bring him in as a partner to help support us and just bringing awareness to the foster village because foster families need love and support too. Okay. Um, so a dollar of every one of these burgers gets directly sent to a, a foster family through Foster Village. So. And that's just helping them pay for everyday expenses while they're helping take care of these kids. Maybe take them out to the movies, something like that, whatever the case may be. Whatever right? whatever the case may be. Okay. So now that we got our burger and uh, our, our bun, our pretzel bun and our beef and cheese set up, we're gonna hit it with some honey mustard. Go ahead and cover that top bun for me there, Mr. Mike. Okay. Yeah. So there. We're gonna grab three pickles. Not four, but three. Not four, but three. And, and why three? We wanna have that good flavor distribution. So oh, put them on that top bun for me. Look out perfectly. Go. You can get a pickle in every bite right there. See the three fit in the circle? It's a whole math thing. So yes. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to get three slices of avocado. And once again, I like the whole threes thing. Now, do these go on in a certain order or so just I like just, that? That's, so let's, Perfect. Boom. Okay. Perfect. And then pop this baby pop on the there. Lid. Pop All the right. hat on that thing. And then once again, this is going up and through uh, the end of June. So June 26th, you can go to any Hat Creek location and get this burger. Uh, okay. And the burger, again, a dollar goes to Foster Village which is gonna help kids. If you come to any Hack Creek location, you'll see we have playgrounds featured for the little kids. We have adult snacks for the big kids. Get in there. Okay, I, I was gonna ask a question, then take a bite. Where are you located? So we have a location located in uh, Live Oak here in San Antonio, but you can find us in Dallas. You can find us in Woodway. You can find us in uh, Houston. I mean, you can even find us in between Austin and San Antonio in uh, okay, that's San Marcos. Yeah. The bun is nice and moist. The, oh, and the pepper jack cheese on there. Oh, heavens, that's very good. Okay, I'm gonna embarrass him just a little bit here very uh -oh. quickly because he loves to fish, but when he's not fishing, he loves to walk along the parks and trails with his dog, talking to his girlfriend, and making memories. That's right. He's like, he's like a Hallmark card here, I love it. Anyway, thank you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Don't forget, now through June 26, $1 from every Give Back Burger, and that's really good, sold. The benefits um, go to Foster Village Nonprofit for more information. Of course, just snap the QR code right there on your screen. Go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Christian, thank you. Delicious. Thank that's you. That's really good. All right, still ahead on SA Live. You can't buy happiness, but you can rescue it. We're celebrating National Rescue Dog and meeting some furry friends ready for forever homes and showing you some easy ways to help the pets that you can take home. Next on the show, there's 72 different beers on tap here at Perry's Pizzeria and Tap House. We're continuing the celebration, National Pizza Party Day. There's a big deal ahead. Stick around. That picture just kind of says it all. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, today is National Pizza Party Day, but What's a pizza without wings? Yes, of course, a salad, maybe something to wash it down. Jen Tobias Trusky is live out there at Perry's Pizza. and We've been waiting for the deals, Jen, on this big thing with pizza and salad and wings and tell us all about it. That's right, now we had that one deal right in the first half of the show and now we're ready for more. But before we get to that, let's talk beer. I have David Kruger joining me now. How many beers again on tap? Oh, we got 72, 72 wow. craft. 72, and I love that it's the local options as well. So yep. what do we have here? So basically we have our own six pack, um, and this just goes by your, your profile of uh, craft beer, right? So we got our crisp and clean right here, usually like your Pilsners and your Blondes. Uh, then we're gonna move into uh, the fruit and spicy. Uh, you got your Hefenweizens, right? Uh, wheat, dark Belgians. Moving on to our Hoppy Bitter, which is my favorite IPA. Uh, Pale Ale, ha uh, Hazy IPAs. Uh, these are starting to get a little bit more in alcohol content, folks. And so we got, uh, for that sour and tart, uh, we got uh, American uh, Wild Ales. Um, then we're gonna go into our Malty Sweet, German, Brown Ales. Uh, and then, of course, the dark chocolate, dark and roasty. Whoa. Um, yes, that's, that that's really like, dark. that's so super I, dark. Is that really, uh, I guess, kind of a little heavier, I guess? Yes, yeah, yeah, so it's, like I said, it's gonna go from light to dark. Okay. Um, 
uh, but more yeah. crisp yeah. to like roasty, more flavorful, more pungent. Got it. Um, yeah, Options it's for everybody. And what I love is you guys. Your happy hour is what time again? Uh, 11 to 6. Okay. And yep. then on Sunday, all day, guys. All day. All day. Now, we yep. have Joanna over here. She's going to show us what the most ordered drink, the most popular one. Is that right, right here? Yeah. Uh, so right now, she is making uh, a strawberry fizz. Um, it is super uh, fruity, light, crisp. Um, it's, it's definitely uh, something you should come out and try, folks. Uh, not only that, with pizza. Uh, and I'll, I'm sure you saw all the food earlier. But, uh, yeah, shaking it up. Um, also it's some good stuff. Wait, I know she's about to pour this gorgeous uh -huh. drink. Oh, yeah. I that. haven't tried this one. It looks yeah. beautiful. So hot summer days. You know Texas, right? So um, this is this, this hits a spot. And she's going to top it off with a little champagne. Oh. So uh, it's not really marmosa, but it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like our take on something that's refreshing. Now I see why that's one of the most ordered yep. drinks. And then you mentioned the old fashioned. Old fashioned. You, you said this one. Yeah. So is. I know there's a lot of old fashions out there, folks, but um, Harry's Pizzeria, we really hit the spot on this. Um, using our uh, high-end cherries, uh, we got orange pill zest. Um, Bullet is the whiskey we would use uh, uh, in this drink. Um, so you know, come on out if you want to get it old-fashioned. This is the place to stop by, get the pizza, wings, old-fashioned. Game yes. over. Yes. Yeah. So beer, uh, an array of cocktails. And again, let's get, come back here to this yeah. gorgeous pizza here. Because again, it all is just a great experience. And National Pizza Party Day giveaway. We're ready to yeah. do this Sign now. Up. OK, so here we go. You want, you want to go ahead and let yeah. them know? So I mean, basically what we're doing, guys, it's going to be $170 value. Uh, so we got a couple of inch pizzas, some uh, 20 wings, uh, a couple salads. Uh, I highly encourage everybody to sign up for this because National Pizza Day is really big and we're a pizzeria, right? So uh, if you're wanting that little party get together at work or just at home, school, graduation, sign up. You can't win if you yep. don't play. <laughs> there you that go. That is the model for me. So uh, and that QR sign up. Code, yeah. Yes, that QR code is on your screen yeah. now. So please Definitely. get the phone out. We're leaving it up for a little bit so you can have time to get that code. And then three people, right? Three lucky customers. Yep, three lucky customers. We'll get $170 value there for the pizza which is what several pizzas yeah it's I, I think it's party. yeah it's a pizza party <laughs> i mean it's 170 dollars value yes. so you just think about that i mean these average right. about 25 dollars a pizza so i mean it, you gotta think it's all right uh, perfect thank you david good. so much we're gonna Pleasure. keep eating maybe we're gonna take a sip here and uh you know it's a party what's a party with that fat cheers you know i was gonna say bring some pizza back to the station but how about save me a table over there a seat because all those <laughs> beers lined up wow yeah. that looked good <laughs> Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> I got you. And I've been eating here and I'm still hungry looking at that. Thank you, Jen. Have a fantastic weekend. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Well, the freebies are far from over. Did somebody say free frozen treat? How you can nab our deal of the day. And next, you can't change a dog's past, but you can rewrite their future. We're getting ready for Rescue Dog Day with some cuties looking for their forever home and some easy ways to help all the ones you can't take home. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. Look at that little face. Well, welcome back to SA Live. The best things in life are rescued, and tomorrow is National Rescue Dog Day. And a lot of us wish we could take them all home, but of course, that is impossible. But we do have a list of some ways, some very different and easy ways that you can help out the ones that you can't take home. First of all, for the month of May, Ladybird Beer Garden is donating $1 for every pup arena sold to the Animal Defense League. And on top of that, today, starting right after the show at 2 p.m., they're having Yappy Hour. Ladybird Bird will donate 10% of sales from 2 to 6 p.m. to the Animal Defense League, so go grab a drink and give back. Now, over at Hops and Hounds for the rest of the month, they'll be donating $1 for every raspberry pina colada sold to the Friends of Dogs Rescue. They also have a donation bin set up so you can drop off supplies. They also have an event tomorrow from 5 to 9 p.m. to help raise money for mobile vets for Ukraine to heal and repair surviving animals affected by the Russian invasion. You can also help by fostering. It's desperately needed by our South Texas rescues. All of them, our friends over at God's Dogs Rescue say they are quote, drowning. They'll provide everything you need, just a temporary home. That's all you have to uh, supply, some loving homes and some TLC. There's a link on our website. And the San Antonio Humane Society has Camp Humane coming up. Kids in grades first through 12th can learn and help take care of rescue pets. They also need fosters for baby kittens and desperately need dog treats and toys. 
Well, and of course, we couldn't get ready for National Rescue Dog Day without some sweet little... Uh, look at... See, now, your sister's being really quiet, okay? Can you be quiet like that too, Charlie? Oh, well, asking you shall receive some. <laughs> and Haley Evers, who is the marketing director with SNPSA, is here to tell us about a big event going on and all about SNPSA. Welcome. First of all, introduce... Well, Edna, you are just being absolutely perfect down there. So who do we have yes. here? Yes, so this is Edna um, down here. She's one of our rescues. She's a pug mix, a year and a half years old. As you can see, she has a beautiful smile. Um, and then we've got Charlie and Beatrice, two siblings that we got recently. Um, they just, are Chihuahua just, Terrier mixes. Just the cutest. Oh, look at that face. How can you turn that down? Oh, my <laughs> goodness gracious. Okay, so tell me about this big event you have coming up tomorrow. Are you going to be there, Charlie? Yes, so for okay. National Dog Day, we are doing an event with Texas Dog Co. Um, it's a brand new venue in town. Um, and we will be hosting an adoption event where we will be bringing out all of our animals um, to hopefully find their forever homes. Okay, SNPs, uh, for somebody that may not be familiar with it, mm -hmm. give us an overview. Yeah, so we're a, we're a nonprofit based in San Antonio with a mission to make San Antonio a no-kill city. So essentially what we do is we rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome um, unwanted and stray animals here. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a spay and neuter initiative. So we do reduced price spay and neuter surgeries at our office, and then we have a free big, big fix clinic twice a year. Okay, a lot of times folks say, well, I don't want to get my dog uh, neutered. Uh, the female has to go through her first, you know, her first heat, and that's all just that isn't necessary, is it? Yeah, I mean, of course, everybody's got their preference, but in San Antonio, it is actually illegal to have an unaltered dog. Um, you have to have a special permit to have an unaltered animal, um, and it is actually way cheaper to get it done through us than a, a typical full-service vet. So um, that's why it's so great that we have, you know those reduced price surgeries and that free option twice a year for our qualified um, okay. community members. And so people can come out to the event tomorrow and find out if they need to get a, an animal spayed or neutered and can maybe make an appointment. And then you have the big fix that comes up too as well, right? Absolutely. So yes, they can um, they can definitely make an appointment with us. Our office is open Monday through Friday and they can make an appointment online as well. And then the big fix is coming up around November. Okay. Now since you are, you actually have all your animals out in fosters, and if somebody's interested in adopting, how do they get to see all the little little puppies and everything? Yeah, so all of our animals, um, we are a foster-based rescue group, which means we're not a shelter. Um, all of our animals live in foster homes, and they all are present on our website. So if you're looking for a dog, you can come out, or a cat, you can come out to one of our events Smile. and shop there, or you can look on our website where all of our animals live. Look right there at Robert's camera, mm -hmm. right there at the camera. Don't forget, the Rescue Roundup event is happening tomorrow from 2 to 6 6 p.m. at Texas Dog Co. There's going to be food, drinks, plenty of new furry little friends here ready for adoption. For more information, of course, just go to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, dear. Yes, thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, looking for some laughs? A comedian from a popular TV show is in the Alamo City, where you can catch his performance and more fun events happening all around town. And next, what makes a frozen treat even better? When it's free. How you can have this great offer. It's our deal of the day you don't want to miss. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time for our deal of the day. You can score a free frozen treat just by signing up for the Yum Squad. That's the rewards program for Andy's Frozen Custard. You can download the Yum Squad app or sign up online. Now, once you join, you can pick up that free treat on your second visit. Plus, you get a free treat on your birthday month and rack up points every time you purchase a treat. You can find them at the rim. And we've heard there's a second location open in the summer, so... Start earning those rewards points now. And then after you pick up that frozen custard, you're gonna want something really fun to do this weekend. We've got a whole list. You're not gonna be bored this weekend. So here we go. All right, the 41st Tejano Conjunto Festival starts today. It continues through Sunday at Rosedale Park. Features acts like the Conjunto Cats, the Tejano Boys, and Los Texamaniacs, featuring special guest Flaco Jimenez himself. It is the first and longest running Conjunto Festival in the country. Check online for times, tickets. We have a link on our website. Comedian and actor Jay Phillips will be here in San Antonio performing at the Upstage Comedy Lounge. He was in the movie Semi-Pro with Will Ferrell and performed on Jimmy Kimmel Live. He has shows tonight and tomorrow night. Get your tickets now before they sell out. 
The classic educational series Schoolhouse Rock is back. I'm just a bill. Anyway, Schoolhouse Rock follows uh, Tom, a nervous teacher, anxious about his first day of class. He tries to relax by watching TV and discovers that his favorite show comes to life. It's playing at the Magic Theater now till June 4th and is geared toward kids six and older. And get ready for a bubble-tastic Saturday at Hemisphere. Float into summer with a day of free activities and entertainment for the whole family involving bubbles. There will be a human bubble ball, bubble-making activity station, live music, vendors, and much more. Again, it's tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Yanaguana Garden, and it is totally free. And you can find more events all around town online at thingstodoinsanantonio.com. You won't believe how many fun things they have there. We've got links to all that and all these events on our website. Just snap that QR code on your screen or go to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, up next, how do you know if you need ankle replacement surgery? We get tips and important information from the expert when SA Live continues. But first, isolated storms may be on the way this weekend. There's going to be some out there. So your local expert, John Wayne Service Company, wants to get you ready with home standby generators. Take a look. Hi, I'm James Taylor with John Wayne's Electrical Department, and today I'm going to go over our home standby generators and how they work and what it'll do for you and your home. So this is our home standby generator. Um, it's a 20 kW unit. What these systems are designed for is to provide power for your home completely automatically if there's ever a power outage. So if power goes out, this generator is going to automatically start you're gonna transfer over to generator power, and then when utility returns, it'll shut down and you'll be back on your utility provider's power. But so what happens is over here, you will notice a transfer switch mounted on this pole. It's gonna be that third panel down there at the end. Now that is constantly monitoring the utility power coming to your home. As soon as that is lost, it sends a signal to the generator to go ahead and start. At that point, the generator starts and it will transfer your utility over to your generator. And then it's monitoring utility so that as soon as utility comes back, it will automatically turn your generator off. You have about a five second delay on power and other than that, a power outage is no problem. All right, my name's James, and if you have an existing generator and need maintenance or interested in a new generator, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Do you have problems with your ankles? You might be a candidate for ankle replacement surgery with TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. And here to tell us more is Dr. Justin Robbins. He's a foot and ankle surgeon. Welcome, welcome, doctor. Yeah, thank you. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourself and TASOG Orthopedics and Spine. Yeah, well, my name's Justin Robbins. I'm an orthopedic surgeon that specializes in foot and ankle surgery. Um, I'm part of the San Antonio Orthopedic Group. We have multiple orthopedic subspecialties in our group. Uh, we're the largest orthopedic group in town. All right, and so as an orthopedic surgeon, what conditions do you typically operate on? So for me, I specialize in ankle and foot reconstruction. So I'll take care of patients who have fractures to their ankle or foot, tendon or ligament injuries, overuse injuries, or arthritis to their ankle. So what is arthritis to the ankle? Yeah, so arthritis of the ankle is where the cartilage starts to wear down and patients will start to develop swelling and pain and decreased range of motion to their ankle. And so what is a candidate for, for ankle replacement surgery, you know? Like, yeah. How does so, it get to that point? So any patient that no longer is responding to the non-surgical treatments for ankle arthritis uh, are uh -huh. patients that we do an ankle replacement on. Uh, an ankle replacement uh, is where we take the ankle joint and we remove the arthritic portions of the joint and then we replace it with metal here on the end of the tibia or shin bone and here on the talus bone, the one that allows the ankle to move up and down. And then we put a plastic liner in between to allow for smooth ankle range of motion. And so what is recovery like and how long can that take? Yeah, so for an ankle replacement, that surgery typically takes about two to three hours to do. 
Uh, several patients are able to go home the same day. Some patients need to stay in the hospital overnight. Uh, because I, I do that surgery through an incision in the front part of their ankle, I need that skin to heal before they start walking on it. So I keep patients in a cast for anywhere from three to six weeks. And at the three to six week mark, I let them start walking in a walking boot. And usually by nine to 12 weeks, they're back into a regular shoe. Patients will continue to get improvement in their right. motion and their pain for up to about two years after surgery. So up to two years after surgery, okay. And so any tips for folks who might be having ankle problems, but maybe they're just not ready for surgery yet. Sure, yeah, for patients that have ankle arthritis, uh, initially treating it with things like rest, ice, compression, elevation, uh, are all things that patients can do on their own. If their pain persists, that's where they should seek an orthopedic surgeon that specializes in foot and ankle surgery. And at that point, we can try things like injections or prescription medicines or braces or physical therapy. And if those things stop working, that's where we start thinking about oh, surgery. surgery. Okay, yeah. and that's where they can go to you, Dr. Robbins. Thank yeah. you so much. To book an appointment with Dr. Justin Robbins at TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine, just call 210-804-5400 or visit the website TSAOG saog.com. Hey, Monday on SA Live, Jen learns from the Cheesecake Queen. This Hill Country Shop has a new location in San Antonio. We are getting a sample of Lanny's Cheesecakes. I hope they are here. Plus, summer's right around the corner, and that means lots of fun in the water to keep cool. But before you dive in, what you need to know to keep the family safe as they swim. That and a whole lot more Monday, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. All of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It is one of those questions. Pizza, hot or cold? What's better? All right, we've got a few answers. Right. Hot and gooey, cheesy pizza. Yes, happy National Pizza Party Day, Lisa. Hot pizza, Marcella, yeah, I gotta agree, hot, but some pizzas taste good, yes they do, the next, but it depends on the pizza. The next morning, get that out of the fridge on a Sunday morning. Hot pizza from Mario's Pizza Pasta and Wine Bar. Ooh, that sounds good, Mary. And, oh my gosh, definitely leftover cold pizza. Both, yeah, you, you have it on, again, the night before, and then the next morning, pull it out of the fridge, take a couple of bites, put it back, put it back in the fridge, take another bite, Keep going throughout the rest of the day. So anyway, happy National Pizza Party Day. I guess I think what we're gonna do with the dinner tonight is having pizza. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. We will see you back here Monday, one o'clock, right here on SA Live. Take care, everybody.